What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to do a traffic light using the Altera DE1 Educational Board, FPGA. And before I start, I had done this program before using the Arduino and the PIX, but today I'm going to use the Altera. Show you different ways, and I think it's pretty cool. Let's just make a folder real quick. Name it Light. Open the Quadis 2 software. I got, I'm using currently using 13.0 Web Edition. Go to open now. We're going to create a new project. Click next. Go to that folder that I just created in my desktop, which I call the light. And I'm gonna grant it light. Click next. Next. I'm using the Cyclone 2. Let's look for the chip that I'm using. Click next next so information finish okay and this is a quick way to do a simple traffic light it's not the best in the world but it works go ahead click new well, we're going to do a black diagram open this up because we're going to use uh, 2d uh, flip-flops so uh, double click i'm going to put d Altera, others, if I click D, J, F, F, there it is, okay, D flip flop, click on that, put one here, double click, put another one here, notice that um, only, it's only showing my Q, it's not showing my Q knob, so I gotta add a knot. Go ahead and click that, put that there, double click, put that there. So we're gonna have a uh, let's put a click just click on that when the icon comes up. And I hate it when that does that. Go ahead and click there. And here we go. Okay, so we got we got our cues and we got our cue knot ready to roll. We have that going. So we're gonna do uh we're gonna have two um three output which is gonna be our uh red, yellow, and green. So I'm gonna click click type output. This output one double click output two double click output three. Name this guy red. Name this guy yellow. And this guy green. All right, so we got a three lights with three outputs. Let's uh, wire our D flops. Oh, we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a clock as an input. So I click input. Uh, this guy is gonna be a clock. And I'm gonna name that clock. Clock is going to be an input. Um, so, if you look at the schematics to do, we're going to do this. Put an AND gate here. AND gate. Look for it. Put this AND gate here. Q. This guy. This guy is going to go here. Okay. So it's going to come back to our D. Right there. Oh. There is this node, and this guy is going to add as a, also as a clock for my next D gate flip flop. Once we have that, this guy we're going to have it going towards our red. And 
else is gonna this guy's gonna add that's our the input. Okay. Uh, and then this uh, obviously is gonna be a green. So there's a uh, algorithm for our traffic light. One just one traffic light. Uh, so once we got that, you could do uh, your clock. Uh, it could be a switch, or you could use the push button. But we're gonna use the board's internal clock, which is uh, the 50 m. So I'm gonna head into uh, right click there. Malfunction is how our permit needs to go to all the way down here to our counter. Go ahead, click that. This guy's gonna pop out. Yeah, VHDL. Click next. Uh, since we're using the 50 a meg, uh, we know that uh, it's 26 bits because we want we want to turn that the 50 meg to one second to the to change the frequency to one hertz. Okay, next. Yeah, we're gonna play binary. You could change this too if you like, but just keep playing play, 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 play binary. Click next. Click next. Next, and we're finished. Okay. Uh, blah blah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna click no. I'll put this guy here. And once that guy is done, that's fine. Put a wire here. You see, notice how it's really um, thick. The line is thick. It's because it has all these um, vectors. The 25, 26 bits from zero to 25. Just gonna rename this Q. 20, 25. Dot dot zero. Close. Square brackets. And the input for this guy is gonna be a clock. The built-in clock. And this is gonna I'm gonna name this clock one. This might seem a little tedious, but trust me, it's faster than the coding. Alright, so we got the int uh this is gonna be our in uh the clock from the board. It's gonna go to this counter. It's gonna count up, and then the, we're gonna have to have an output here. We're gonna put an output here. This output is gonna be this guy right here, and we're only gonna take one bit out of there, which is gonna be the last bit, which is gonna be 25. Once, uh, once that 25 bit uh, reaches this guy, this is gonna be the output. So you don't need to connect this this knows that it belongs to this guy so once what I'm gonna do is just put a wire I'm gonna put a wire from this guy and I'm gonna put a wire here it's gonna be our signal so I'm gonna put a signal from here to here okay so the once the 25th uh, bit 26 bit comes out it's gonna trigger this clock so it should be one second every time I hit it so if you look at it we're gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, as my LEDs. I'm gonna use the uh, expansion header right here. I'm gonna use this guy right here. And then uh, what you're gonna do is you just gotta help in the the pin assignment. And if you use to the expansion header, you got this guy. This is the guy I'm gonna be using. So what you could do is just, uh, read the guys for the pin assignment. All right. So let me compile this guy first. Save. Oh. Oh, right here, that's the error. Let's do that, just try that again.
Oh well, okay. Everything seems to be working. Compiling, compiling. No errors. And once again, this is not the best way to do a traffic light, but uh, this is, you know, it does the job. Okay, so we got here. Everything went well. Now let's start signing in. For our output, the red one, you're going to go here, you're going to go to pin assignment. No, pin planner. This guy's going to come out. Hang on, let me close this. Let me close that. So what you're going to do is uh, for the red, for the green, the location, we go ahead, put this on the side, and let's look back to our PDF, and I'm going to use for green, I'm going to use this guy here, so it's going to be B. B13 this guy so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and location green I'm just gonna type B13 and automatically assigns it already knows then for my red I just gonna keep them all together so the next guy up it will be this guy B14 I'm gonna type B14 no that will be for my yellow my yellow will be B14 my red gonna be B15 okay so we have got our LEDs coming out of there and uh, yeah you can just look at this and see where I'm going I'm using this guy all right so uh, let's use the internal clock like I said over here uh, my clock one it's gonna be my internal clock and I believe the the f the clock see right here pin L1 is my 50 mag clock input so I'm gonna be using this guy right here so I'm gonna go to clock one and like it says over there it's L1 so we have our clock going and now that's an output okay and I'll put in the inputs you know once it's an output it can be an input so I have that as an output and then I'm gonna wire. I'm gonna put a wire from that up, from that output, from the output of the Q25. This guy, I'm gonna put a wire to my other clock, the clock that's gonna run the flip flops. So my Q25, I'm gonna put it right next to, really close to where I had the other guys. I'm gonna put a B17, the knife. So, B17, yeah, yeah, B17, no, yep, B17, and the other, the wire that's going to come back to that, it's going to be my B16, they're right next to each other, I just put a, I just put a wire, I put a jumper in there, B16, and that's the clock, that's gonna be running my flip flops, my two flip flops. Let's go close that, compile. Okay, everything went well. Look back of my scan let's see everything is uh, I got everything yep okay all right now let's go ahead and uh, program it load it up I put files light start it up 100% successful and once you get that you no know, you should get you should get it working
Now, like I said, this is not the best uh, algorithm for the traffic light because it goes to yellow every time. But it's just a quick way to show you guys how to um, use the internal clock of the board and the LEDs. And like you said, see right here? Okay, see my wires? This big guy right here is just my, um, my ground. The black one right here, the long one, is the ground. I could have used the other one. I believe it has two grounds. Then I got my um, my red, my yellow, my green, and here's the jumper that I use from the as an output as the internal clock to the input to the my J my D flip flop clocks. And let me show you again. If you look at that right here, see how it has two grounds? It has one ground here, it has a ground here. And it has a VC5, you know, 5 volts and 3.3 .3 volts. So, any of the other pins you could use on my IO input and outputs. So, that's what I did. Alright, guys, thank you.